Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. As promised, my next video was going to be my finished train station and here it is. Couldn't be more excited to show it to you. I was very happy with how it turned out. I tried to make, uh, originally if you've seen or been watching any of my videos, uh, I originally already had one train station that I had built. But no matter where I placed it in the city, it just never quite fit in or felt right or I just couldn't make it work the way I wanted it to. And it always bothered me anyway, the interior of the other train station was very plain um, as opposed to the exterior. The exterior was very ornate, but the interior just was very lackluster. Where with this particular train station, I've concentrated both on the inside and the outside. I've gotten a lot of the ideas <clears throat> as far as making it as decorative as it is. From looking at, uh, well I don't want to butcher the names, but it was from looking at train stations in Italy and Amsterdam. Um, I think I really personally did a fantastic job with this. I'm, I couldn't be more happy with it. Uh, it's taken me a long time. A lot of it is the fact of I, I try to only build with what I own. I don't like to order parts if I don't have to when I'm doing builds. And a lot of what I did with this, it was just a matter of trying to figure out what I had, what I could use to do what I had in my head. So there was a lot of changes over the course of the building of this, but again, I, I couldn't be happier with the, the final result. Uh, in, in my previous video, I showed you how to build roofs using railroad train track, <clears throat> the curved pieces anyway, to give you the curved roof. Uh, but now you can actually see it on display on the train station itself. And I want to take you down here and give you a, a mini fig's eye view anyway of what it looks like when you're looking at the ceiling in there. I just think it's fantastic. It really adds to the ambiance of the building. Um, it's very detailed. It's very decorative inside. I just absolutely love how it turned out. I think it's a, a great technique. I got the technique idea off of Pinterest. Um, I don't remember whose board I saved it from, but it wasn't their idea. It was just a train station that they happened to see on display at some Lego show somewhere. Uh, the train station that they were showing was considerably larger than what I've even built. But I liked the idea and I tried to incorporate it into uh, my Lego train station. Anyway, now that you can kind of see a little bit of what's going on in there, let's take the roof off here real quick so we can get a better view of the inside. And if you didn't have a, or watch my previous video, I was gonna give you another quick bird's eye view of the construction of this ceiling roof, if you will, of my train station. Again, as you can see, it is built, the whole arch is built using railroad curved track pieces. And I just, I think it couldn't have turned out better. It's a, a really decorative build and a, and a really interesting way to do a curved roof. Now the building isn't as pretty without the roof, but we wanna be able to see inside anyway. So <clears throat> anyway, as you can see here, I. Did a lot of detail. Like I said, my, my concern was I wanted to make the interior just as attractive as the exterior was, and I really feel like I did that here. Um, over here on this wall, what I did is I tried to make a, a relief, if you will, of a caboose. And then on the opposing wall, I tried to make a relief of an engine, uh, a train engine. I did also put a few video cameras, security video cameras, looking at the food court items in the ticket booth. The ticket booth roof is removable, so you can put mini figs in there and put them on display. Um, after they purchased their ticket, they would of course go through the turnstiles here. And there's roof windows on the sides of the ticket booth so they can see that the passengers that actually bought tickets are the ones that are going through the turnstiles. And so they can really let them let them go through. I tried to populate the <clears throat> train station with a lot of minifigs to make it look busy like a normal train station would be. Uh, I included a few people like Indiana Jones here, which is about to embark on a new adventure. And we got a little bunny over here that's about to go help a kid celebrate his birthday party. Uh, instead of putting stores in the train station like I've seen like in Amsterdam's train station, for example, what I decided to do to try and keep the open feel of the building um, was I made some food carts instead. I thought they were a little bit of a nicer touch. Uh, plus I also put some, I got an ATM machine here and then I got one on either side of the entryway. 
here and here. And I also have a little display screen, which I don't know if you can see it or not, showing the train run times and when the trains will arrive and so on and so forth, which is also hanging from the roof of the building as well when it's set back on display. But one of the carts that I put on display in here, um, I have the beverage cart so that the people that are waiting for the train can have buy fresh beverages. Uh, this particular cart that I made, you have your cash register, you have your coffee machine, we have small and large cups for the coffee, and here is where they grind the coffee beans to make the coffee. And here is your lids for your coffee uh, cups. And then also on the back here, got a few different styles of sodas and bottled water that people can purchase while they are waiting for their train to arrive. And then on the other side, so of course, you got to have snacks too. I made a little food cart. And with this, again, I have a little cash register. I have the pizza and uh, <clears throat> a croissant and some cookies, some donuts, some bananas, and the same thing on the other side. Again, I was just trying to put some general items inside of the train station as opposed to making actual stores because I really liked the open look and feel of the entire train station. And again, I, I just couldn't be happier. I, I like the light poles. The reason I made these particular light poles that I made to put in here at some point, I do want to add light to my buildings, and with these particular light poles, they're hollow. So you can actually run, run wire all the way up through that, and then this is hollow underneath as well. So I could run the wires right down straight through that, hook them to a battery box at some point in the future. I'm not really worried about doing it right now. I'm more concerned about trying to get the table as covered and populated as possible, but I was trying to think a little bit ahead as far as what I was going to do, and that's why those are built that way. And then again, also, I do have the lights that are hanging from the roof as well, shining down on the pedestrians as they're waiting for their train. Again, I hope you, you like my video. I hope you like my train station. I've put a lot of work into it. Again, I couldn't be happier with it. As a matter of fact, I will put the roof back on one more time and give one more quick view of it. One final quick scan of the finished building fully assembled. Again, I am super excited about this. Uh, it didn't take me too long to do it. Still couldn't be happier with it. I just think it would turn out fantastic. Um, if you have any questions, comments, want to share, like, subscribe, don't forget to do that below. And again, I thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy my builds. And I hope I can continue to keep making some good builds for everybody to come and view. Uh, see in, I guess until we see you again next time. Have a good day and we'll talk to you soon.